Good morning, Morgan. Well, it is the biggest new home in America at over 100,000 square feet. The question is, will it become the most expensive? The estate known as the one in Bel Air, California, listed this morning for $295 million. That is way down from the original hope for a price of 500, but it could still break the record if it sells for anywhere near its asking price. It is four acres overlooking downtown LA and the Pacific Ocean. It's 21 bedrooms, 42 baths. It's got a nightclub, a 40 seat movie theater, a cigar room, a beauty salon, a gym and a wellness spa. A bowling alley comes complete with bowling balls and your own shoes. It's got a tequila bar, a 10,000 bottle wine cellar, and a garage that holds up to 30 cars. The master bedroom suite alone is over 5,000 square feet. It's got a terrace pool. In fact, there are seven water features in total, including an indoor lap pool and a moat that runs around the house. But the property also comes with plenty of controversy and a lot of debt. The builder, Niall Niami, defaulted on over $180 million in loans. If it doesn't sell in the next month, it will be auctioned off to the highest bidder on February 7th as part of a bankruptcy agreement. The brokers say they already have offers from a Saudi royal and a Chinese billionaire. They've gotten also inquiries from crypto whales. So Morgan, you've covered this market. You know there can be a big difference between the listing price and what the eventual sale price is. But the clock starts ticking this morning. We'll see if it can sell before it goes to auction. My goodness, this is a, it's a relative bargain, I guess, compared to the original <laughs> listing price. I mean, you take this, you put in context to the fact that we did see home sales over $100 million reach record highs in 2021, which was something a couple of years ago I, I, I wouldn't think we'd be having a conversation about. And I guess, how does it speak to the fact that this upper, upper, upper end of the market in general does seem to still have buyers, including foreign buyers amid the pandemic? Yeah, it's a great point. There were eight homes last year sold for over $100 million. Often years, there would be maybe one. So this is a whole new market. This comes to market at a great time. We had two big sales in L.A. last year for over $100 million. So this is a great time. We'll see where it ends up. This market is on fire at the very top.